Muslim geographers. Muslims are encouraged to travel and to learn about other people's cultures and customs. As the Muslims also studied the works of those before them, such as the work of the ancient Greeks, such as the Ptolemaic model of the universe, which suggested that the earth was in the center of the universe and that the sun went around the earth. But this was not true. They disproved this theory. They proved that the sun was in the center and the earth went around the sun instead. There are many successful Muslim geographers, such as Ibn Hazm, who was from the area of Andalusia in Spain, who suggested that the earth was round like many others. The basis of his argument was this verse of the Quran. خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق يكور الليل على النهار ويكور النهار على الليل. Notice the key word here, "yukawir," means to roll over or to turn over. The root word here is "kura," which means ball or sphere. So it's almost like saying the night rolls over the day. There are those who took the step further such as Al-Idrisi, who was from the Emirate of Sicily, which used to be a Muslim country for about 200 years, but is now part of Italy. He made this map. The map doesn't make sense, but look what happens when I turn it upside down. Now compare this to a modern map of the world. It looks very similar to the area of North Africa and the Middle East. Although Christopher Columbus is often credited with discovering America, there are those who had been there before him. And Al-Masoudi from the area of Iraq in the 9th century wrote about people who had been to the Americas before. In terms of the Muslims, there are people such as Mansa Abu Bakri II from the area of West Africa, from the Kingdom of Mali, who left the throne to explore the sea and had been to the Americas about 200 years before Christopher Columbus. There was also a Chinese Admiral Cheng He who was Muslim, who had been to the Americas, and this map is dated 1421, before 1492. There are also other Muslims who were successful geographers and made maps, such as Piri Rias, during the time of the Ottoman Empire, so during the early 16th century, he made this map which includes the Americas. There are many examples of social scientists such as Ibn Khaldun who was one of the earliest people to work on social sciences and he was there in the time of the medieval Islamic era in Tunisia. Al-Biruni was a successful Muslim who not only studied the people of India and wrote about their customs and culture but also studied the Sanskrit language which is the ancient Hindu language. There were others such as Ibn Battuta who travelled a distance of about 40,000 miles before the invention of the steam engine. He travelled all over the world from Morocco, his hometown, and he later wrote about his travels and the customs of the people. Another example was Ibn Fadlan, who was one of the first people during the time the Abbasids to travel to the area of Russia, so he wrote about the people and their customs and also had interaction with the Vikings. His work inspired the writing Eaters of the Dead, the fictional book, as well as the movie 13th Warrior. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.